there anybody out there? Hi there guys, doing something a little bit different today. Welcome to my review of Martin Gunn's The 4-4 Syndrome. This story was actually brought to my attention by my girlfriend not too long ago, and I'm really glad she did, because this is one of the most original and brilliant pieces of science fiction work that I've read in a long time. Now, disclaimer, I do not read enough, but I do read, and when I do read, I read a lot of science fiction. So, the first thing that jumps out to me about this story is actually the title, The Full Full Syndrome. I come from a very heavily um, acting background, shall we say. So when I see something like that, it just screams out to me that actually there's, oh, this is quite an interesting title. But to, let, I'm rambling, so just let me explain exactly what I mean. When you're performing on a stage, you have four walls around you. One to your left, one to your right, one behind you, then a fourth invisible wall, which separates you from the audience. Now, the fourth wall is sometimes used as a story conveying method. By breaking the fourth wall, you as the actor are talking directly to the audience, therefore breaking the illusion that there is in fact a fourth wall there. If you've been watching any particular superhero movies, you might have picked up on what that means. But of course, the title of the story isn't breaking the fourth wall, it's, bre it's the fourth wall syndrome. Syndrome hinting at towards like some kind of a disease. So, a disease where the imaginary wall separating you from the audience is being broken, now that just kind of screams interesting to me. Our primary protagonist of the story, in the sense of he's the only character who has a presence in all three separate parts of the story, is Dr. Barnabas Middlebrook. When we first meet the good doctor, he's running up the stairs of St. Clair Psychiatric Hospital. In his hands, he holds three separate documents detailing the condition, story, and something else which we'll get to in a second, of Alice Denham, who's the patient in question who's suffering from the full fall syndrome. So Dr. Middlebrook is using these files to convey his case to the Secretary of Defence. He has good evidence and reason to believe that Alice's um, case, her for her syndrome, her fourth wall syndrome, is directly heavily linked to an oncoming attack that could threaten, well, quite a lot. The story jumps over and we basically get to see the syndrome start to develop over the lifetime of Alice Denham. She's a young woman, recently married, moving into a new home with her husband, and everything's all well and good until she just starts to see things and when i say things they get they these visions become progressively worse and worse starting out seeing her wall almost disappear and if you imagine yourself as a child or watching like a sitcom or a tv show or just just anything like that on just on the little screen you think of it as a box and then actually think of it as suddenly that screen is peeled away and all of the characters suddenly behind the screen become aware of what's watching them. Except Alice isn't living inside a television. She's not a figment of a television story. She's a real human being who's in the story, obviously, found, who's just now finding herself staring at these weird, bizarre, alien-like creatures who are watching every detail of her life and they are smiling. And the story gets really quite creepy and starts getting into some dark territory. And over the course of her life, over the course of her life, these these visions get worse to the point where actually it's more like they're coming out of this um, screen, if you will, coming towards her, threatening her, and that has a huge effect on her. She her mind starts to crumble, her sanity begins to dissipate. She it becomes almost impossible for her husband to live with, and eventually it leads to her being um, admitted to St. Clair's, where she meets Dr. Middlebrook, which leads us on to document C. Document C doesn't detail Alice herself. What it details, or rather what it is, is a small object that's appeared mysteriously in Middlebrook's office and caused quite a mess. On closer inspection, the object is actually a device that contains a message for the committee, for the, um, the, for the Secretary of Defence, for Middlebrook and for the others, basically confirming that Alice's condition is most definitely not in her head and that everyone is in some real serious danger. As well as containing a message, the device also contains plans and blueprints for humanity to create better weapons to defend themselves from a vastly superior, both te in terms of technology, numbers, pretty much everything, against what's coming to attack them. Now, knowing that Alice isn't actually insane, Dr. Middlebrook takes her, they go to the West towards the United States to try and best prepare themselves for the oncoming apocalypse. Which leads us on to part two of the story, which I'm not going to go into in any great detail because I don't want to give anything away. I want you to go away and read this after this review. But what, basically to summarise things, it turns into Independence Day meets Terminator. Yeah. Messy. 
So I want to know you agree, we're greeted with a whole new host of amazing characters in a really well thought out, wonderful universe. I only really have a few gripes with the story. I mean, the ending, without giving too much away, is is brilliant within its own right, because what it what Mr. Gunn has done with the story is he has you're greeted to various different characters throughout the story, and all these characters will go or branch off and do their own thing. But at the very end, every single loose end is tied off perfectly in a neat little bow. You're not really left wondering what happened to Middlebrook, what happened to Alice, what happened to this person, that person, or anyone else. It's, in some cases, left open for you to wonder, but you still get the kind of logistic of, you know, more or less, what happened. You don't know the exact details, but you know what happened, you know... Effectively, if they lived or died, I guess you could say, and it's it's just a warm, it's just a warm ending. It's a warm story, and honestly, this just seems to twist. As soon as you think you start to get the idea of where the direction this story is going in, it twists it on your head, takes it in a whole new direction, and you're left looking at it like this, like what the hell did I just read? But at the same time, it's amazing and it's so unpredictable, and you just can't tell where it's gonna go next. It goes from this just being committee talking about a psych, a, like a psychological case to a complete war story, and then just well, obviously I'm not going to say you have to read it to find out, but it's it's wonderful. The characters are so clearly well thought out and looked after, and I only really have a couple of gripes to the story. And the first one is if you're a fan of science fiction, you've probably just learned to live with as I have, is that there is a time paradox. There's an event that transpires. There's an event that transpires, time travel is involved, and it should have cancelled out that the event that started, and then you're just left with it going around in a paradox, and it's ne it's never really explained. Honestly though, I think if you're any real fan of science fiction, you shouldn't have a problem with this, because it's just something we're used to. Terminated did it, and it works just fine, they got five movies out of it. Okay, well, only the first two were any good. My second group of the story is a bit of a cop-out answer, really, because it's just the fact that it's not long enough. And I don't mean that in a sense of it's too short, not enough happens. That's completely not what I'm saying. This isn't more. This isn't so much of a gripe as this is more. You're going to be left wanting more. It was just so well written, so clear, and so well thought out. And these characters are so believable. Is the main thing that I failed to mention earlier. They just feel like real people, and it's a universe more than it is a story. And you're. It just, it ends. The story ends and that's the thing. It's like there, there's so much room within this story to tell new, smaller stories. And I really hope like a t television company, HBO or AMC or someone picks this up and thinks, oh, guys, quick, we can make a story out of this. Or I can make a series out of it, sorry, because there's so much room to maneuver. And it's just going to leave you hungry for more and knowing that sadly we're probably not going to get anything because it has a real sense of finality. I wouldn't change anything about this story, though. I wouldn't change a single thing. It all just works. And in an oversaturated market of science fiction, you get this one real gem of a story in there. All right, so this video took way too long to make. And Mr. Gunn, I'm so sorry it's taken me this long to get this video out. Um, guys, normally this is going to be the bit where I ask you to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Not going to do that today. Um, what I'm going to ask you to do instead, there are two links in the description down below. The first link will take you to the Amazon UK link to purchase the four full syndrome and i highly recommend you give it a little look because quite frankly you spend more money for less honestly it's just at the very least worth a look and if you've got a friend or someone who you think might be interested in this story then please share the links to them there's also a link to mr gunn's professional website which i highly re recommend you take a look at keep an eye on case he brings out anything new because i can 100 percent guarantee you the next story he does i'll get a review up on this channel a lot sooner than I did with this. And if you don't believe me, or if you want a second opinion, then check out the Amazon link again, scroll down to the reviews, and you're gonna see a lot of people agreeing with a lot of the things that I've said. Thank you so much if you watched this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one.